Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through Thompson's test, and this test is used to see whether or not our patient has an Achilles rupture. And the principal muscles that insert into the Achilles are the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. So how do we do the test? It's a really simple one. We're going to lie our patient prone, and we're going to place one hand over the muscle belly of the gastrocnemius soleus region. All we do there is squeeze. Now what should happen is that because we're squeezing the area, it, because we're squeezing the gastrocnemius slash soleus complex, it should therefore pull on the Achilles tendon, which should plantar flex the foot. And so hopefully you'll see on the video, if I do the squeeze, our patient's foot is indeed plantar flexing. What is the positive result? Well, if our patient's foot does not go into plantar flexion, that might indicate to us that the Achilles tendon is not intact because the squeeze on the muscle does not pull on the tendon. So therefore, if there is no movement when you do the squeeze, then that would be a positive result and would indicate an Achilles tendon rupture. Pro tip, in this test, if your patient is able to plantar flex their foot uh, individually, then it doesn't necessarily mean that they have an Achilles rupture. And this is because there are other muscles that don't insert into the Achilles that can produce the plantar flexion movement, or at least contribute to it, which include tibialis posterior and flexor hallucis longus. So therefore, make sure that you actually use the test to confirm whether your patient has an Achilles rupture or not, not just testing the movement of plantar flexion itself. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you again soon, right here on Clinical Physio.